For most of my time in graduate school, I actually didn't study gender at all. Then my last year, uh, my wife and I had our first child, <laughs> and gender in the workplace, and particularly the way it uh, constrains women professionally, became, to me, the single most important topic of study in our entire field. Obviously, with the Me Too movement and a lot of the focus on sexual harassment as well that's come to light in the last year, this is a really critical juncture that we're at and academics need to be a leading voice in terms of what's going to affect change. A lot of what I do is driven by looking at the myriad things that are wrong with the way work is organized right now and thinking about ways to test solutions. There's a company called Abcam in Cambridge that's been very receptive to working with me and I think they're very motivated, particularly around these issues of diversity and inclusion and understanding what they can do that would really improve things. We are a biotech company that focuses on producing and manufacturing products to support life scientists to discover more faster, that's our purpose. Our Agile Working Study was a true partnership between Abcam and London Business School. The collaboration involved running a field experiment which was testing the effect of remote working to solve issues around gender and motherhood and the career penalties that women face as a result. This was not a situation where we imposed a certain number of days. It was more simply just saying if we're going to relax the assumption that work always has to take place in the office from 9 to 5, 5 days a week, and we say, look, if you want to work from home as much as is feasible or reasonable given your responsibilities, let's see what that looks like in terms of work-family conflict, in terms of perceived job performance. We assumed it might have a beneficial impact on particularly women and particularly people with caring responsibilities. This study is really important because it gives us empirical data that we can use to inform our business strategy. We asked for volunteers uh, and over half of the population in the Cambridge site signed up to participate in the study, which blew our minds. The positive impact it had was really exciting. What I found was that with respect to reductions in work-family conflict, this is an area where it was specifically women who saw a reduction from remote working as opposed to men, and that effect was driven by mothers. If you observe a man and a woman who are otherwise similar, once children enter the picture, they are not similar, because in most couples, even dual earner couples, the woman is going to be providing a lot more childcare than the man is, and that's very constraining. I have children, so it was very good for me to be able to um, plan my day around their activities as well. It made my life much calmer. Specific benefits to my family life meant I spent more time with my son. It also gave me the opportunity to actually drop him off at nursery and get a bit more involved in what his life is like during the day. Having done the test and the pilot here in the UK, our other sites now across China and the US are saying, how can we have some of that as well? So we're now going to take that out and launch that. In fact, before we'd even concluded the study, we started planning on how we could roll it out into our population permanently. This topic is a fairly global phenomenon. It's something that companies all over the world are grappling with. Losing women to competitors who are better able to provide a workplace that meets their particular needs and preferences, I mean, that's a very serious issue. The UAE has just released a white paper where they're saying effectively that their economy is going to need to get a lot more women in the workforce. So all over the place, this is something that I think is really salient. The way work is set up really reflects a state of affairs that no longer exists in most Western economies, which is one person works full time, the other person takes care of the kids full time. And that hasn't been true for a while. I think it's time for firms to catch up.